Hello guys, I'm Camille from Pareto Education and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be speaking about the common cough. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and share for similar content. A cough is considered to be an early symptom but can be an early indicator of both benign and serious conditions. In physiological principles, a cough is a reflex that helps protect your airway and lungs against irritants. It can also be irritation within the GI tract. There are a number of causes for a cough and it is useful to think of these in light of the duration of the cough. For example, a cough which has occurred less than three weeks is likely to be due to an infection, whether viral or bacteria. Like a pneumonia, a common symptom associated with a cough is shortness of breath. Perhaps there's also some sputum. Acute coughs can also be down to medications, such as commonly ACE inhibitors, so it's important to take a good drug's history. Subacute presentations, namely those within three to eight weeks, can be due to more sinister causes, such as lung cancers. A less serious cause is gastroesophageal reflux disease, which can present with a cough, but also associate heartburn. A chronic cough, which has been present for more than eight weeks, can be due to other conditions, such as asthma or COPD. For these chronic coughs, it is very important to ask about smoking, diurnal variations, and any wheezing associated. When taking a history, it is important to inquire about red flags, and if the patient presents with any of these symptoms alongside a cough, consider a two-week referral. Hemoptysis, weight loss or loss of appetite, a strong smoking history, hoarseness of the voice, all these are red flags. Thank you for listening, and let's move on to the example. Hi there, nice to meet you. My name is Camille. I'm one of the physician associates here at the practice. Can I start by taking your name and confirm your date of birth, please? Yeah, I'm uh, Calvin Smith, 42 years old. Okay, perfect. Nice to meet you, Mr. Smith. Nice to meet you too. Um, so how can I help you today? I've been coughing for quite a while now um, and I just don't really feel well myself. Right. Um, and um, I thought I'd just come and see you, yeah? Right, brilliant. So we can definitely get you help, some help with that. hope so. Tell me how long it's been going on. So this cough's been going on for at least two weeks now and... You know, it's, it's kind of always there and keeps coming and um, quite difficult to get on top of. Um, I definitely think, you know, it's quite a chesty cough because I'm bringing up some phlegm. You are. I am, yeah. But it's more about how I'm feeling generally that's making me a little bit more worried. Okay, so are you feeling unwell in yourself, tired, feverish? How are you feeling? I feel really tired and I feel very feverish as well. Okay. I mean, just a couple of nights ago and over the past few nights, I've been waking up quite drenched in my sweat, really. And that's not like me. I'm not really a, a sweater, so to speak. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but it's getting me quite worried. Tell me a little bit more about, we'll definitely get you some help with those symptoms. Can we go back to the cough a little bit? So tell me this, you say you're bringing up some sputum. Has that been the case since the cough started? Is that a recent development? It's kind of since the cough started. Okay. And it's just been getting more and more. And what color is the sputum, would you say? Green, yellow. Okay. It's all sorts. And have you, do you suffer from chest infections in the past, anything like that? No, I'm, I'm, I'd like to think I'm quite healthy, actually. I'm only okay. 42. Yeah, okay. And this, you feeling unwell in yourself. Have you got any other symptoms? Have you got, for example, you know, sometimes you get some sniffles, uh, headaches, earaches, neck pain, anything like that? No, nothing like that. No. I'm just really tired and just don't feel well at all. And when you say tired, do you mean lethargic or do you mean sleepy? Probably lethargic. Yeah, not got the same energy as you normally would do. No. Okay. Any recent changes in your circumstances mean like any big, you know, stresses in your life, anything like that? No, I mean, life's going quite well. Yeah. Um, I travel a lot, so I'm always in and out of the country. Most of my work is abroad, so... You know, things all right. Okay. And tell me a little bit about, you know, you say you started around three to four weeks ago. What was going on? Was there any big changes? Was there anything that you did out of the ordinary or anything like that? I mean, I, I traveled to India. You know, I do a lot of my work out in India. And I've traveled there before. It's nothing really different. I only eat in hotels and, yeah. you know, I, there's nothing that's been different. And you didn't get any other symptoms in there, traveler's diarrhea or anything like that? Way past that point now. I've yeah. traveled there so many times. Fine. And in yourself, you know, some of these symptoms are cough for the past two weeks associated with some greenish sputum that you're bringing up. You're feeling lethargic and tired and these feverish symptoms. 
and you've described this sweating at night time. Any of the symptoms that you want to be telling me around? No, just want to know what's going on really. Yeah. Have you experienced any vomiting, any loose stools, for example? No, no vomiting, no loose stools. Any uh, pain in any particular joints, anything like that? No, nothing like that. Okay. And tell me about, you know, sort of eating habits. Have they been changed? Loss of appetite, anything like that? Well, I mean, I'm not eating as much and I'm not yeah. sh quite sure why that is. Okay. Um, and I have to say, I, I feel like I'm losing a lot of weight. Yeah. Um, you know, my blazers, I normally wear a suit to work. I mean, I feel like, you know, they're, they're big for me now, which, oh, which really? is quite weird okay. to say, yeah. Would you be able to quantify it just based on your clothing? Taste? Just really based on my clothes. Okay. And some other questions that we like to ask patients presenting, like you said, have you ever brought up any uh, sort of blood in your cough or anything like that? No, not really, thank God. I haven't noticed any blood like that. Okay. So you've not noticed any blood in your cough or, you know, when you're really having a coughing fit, would it? No. No. But I do feel my like my chest is... is is kind of always heavy and uh, just breathing is becoming more and more difficult. Okay. Are you a smoker at all? Not now. I used to smoke many years ago. How many would you say you smoked? Probably about 10 a day. 10 a day. Fine. And how long have you been quitting? Been about 15 years. 15 years. Right. So you're an ex-smoker, would you say? Okay. What about alcohol, things like that? No, I don't really drink much. And you say your lifestyle, you work internationally. Do you sort of travel a lot in sort of Southeast Asia, South Asia, Africa? I that? do, yeah. So most of our markets and most of my work is in the Eastern part of the world in Africa. Right, okay. And you're out of these countries. For example, what kind of countries have you traveled in the last 12 months? I've been to many places in Africa. I've been to many places in the subcontinent as well as the Far East. Fine. Okay. And would you say relatively you take precautions like travelers' vaccines? Um, are you up to date with all those kind of things? Yeah. I mean, as far as I can see, you know, I've, I've taken a few vaccines here and there, but I'll be honest with you. I mean, my parents never really got me vaccinated when I was young. So there's lots of gaps in my history. Fine. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about your uh, past medical history, if that's okay. Uh, what other medical conditions do you have? Nothing. No. Zilch. I'm, I'm really well. Yeah, I can see for your medical record that you don't attend practice much. Um, so we don't see you very often. So that means you don't have any regular medications or do you take things over the counter? Just just take, you know, a bit of vitamin D as, as is recommended by yourselves. But aside from that, nothing over the counter. Any allergies? No. All right. And we've established that you're an ex-smoker, non-drinker, and you've got business interests around the world where you travel regularly. Too. That's right. Have you got any family history of, you know, any respiratory conditions such as COPD, asthma, like chest infections, things like that? No, not really. You know, I've got an uncle that's got asthma, but my parents are, were absolutely fine and, and my siblings are okay too. All right, fine. And is there anything in particular that you were kind of concerned about today that you wanted me to really cover? I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like this is an infection, but, mm. I, you know, I've had chest infections and things in the past, but it's going on for about two or three weeks now and I just feel so lethargic and I'm sweating all through my bed sheets. Yeah. What do you think is going on? So... Couple of things, probably right, is probably along the lines of an infection. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take some routine observations, including your blood pressure, oxygen saturations, and also temperature from you as well. Okay. And then also, also examine the chest, the respiratory system, listen via my stethoscope to your chest. Brilliant. So based on those findings, uh, we could sort of make a, a plan. Probably would involve you giving me some sputum so I can send it off for a sample. Yeah, I can do to that. To the laboratory. The other thing, you know, some of the symptoms that you mentioned were kind of give us sort of call more cause for concern, okay? Oh, wow. Yeah, so I don't want to alarm you too much now, but, you know, some of your travel history, for example, the fact that you're, you're feeling feverish as well as, you know, being unwell, night sweats, some of these can be indicatives of more serious infections. Such as? Such as, in occasions, even tuberculosis. TB. Yeah. You know, there's frequent travel history, some of your patchy vaccination record. So this is something that we have to be aware of. It is what it is. I, you know, I appreciate your due diligence. So we'll sort of start the investigations for that and probably take some blood tests as well. One of the things we do for that is a chest x-ray. So I'll send you off for an urgent chest x-ray at the local hospital. Brilliant. And we'll get you hopefully get a report from that as well. Okay. All right. So that's the initial part of the plan. In terms of safety netting, I want to make you advise a few things. So, uh, Mr. Smith, if you start becoming really unwell, severe shortness of breath, chest pain, rigors, you feel like infection is really not under control, you need to uh, ring 999 in those circumstances. Just as a precaution, I would advise you, you know, just to be on the safe side, start wearing a mask. 
Okay. Um, and just because we suspect these kind of things, we might have to alert some the local health authority as well. Just because we are suspecting this pathway, it may be like you're not tuberculosis, but just so we can keep an eye on close contacts as well. Fine, no problems. Uh, do you live with anyone at the moment? No, no, just live by myself. You live by alone. Okay, so that's fine from that. But you know, if you're using public transport in public areas, I would recommend a mask for now, okay? Okay. Thank you very much for your time and hopefully that's answered some of your questions and we can get you forward towards a treatment plan. Thank you very much.